The Free Limo Party has governed Mozambique since independence in 1975, but the country is heading into local elections on October 11th, weaker than ever. Free Limo is also at a juncture of an institutional failure as a party. You know, the big um, uh, in fightings. It is who gets what in the dynamics of the big corruption that is weakening Frelimo. There are also allegations of corruption. President Philippe Nayusi has been caught up in the so-called 2013 hidden debt case. He was the Minister of Defense when over $2 billion were unlawfully borrowed to buy boats at an inflated price. The government has since agreed to recover more than $500 million from a Swiss bank. It will rescue uh, the image of uh, the government in the sense that the people will uh, no longer uh, look at the government of Mozambique with suspicious eyes. Security concerns have also rocked the country with the fallout from an Islamic insurgency in the northern regions in 2017. African military forces helped stabilize the situation and Maputo insists that this week's election will go ahead in affected regions. From the assessment we did with the authorities, around 68 percent of the population has returned. Municipal elections are expected to proceed peacefully after all the Renamo military camps were closed down in June. The government has dismantled all the camps of the former rebel movement through its disarmament process. However, electoral tensions remain high between Renamo and the ruling party. The fact that wealth is not being evenly distributed and systematic electoral fraud. This is what explains that sometimes we don't have peace. This year's municipal elections pose as a credibility test for Frelimo before the country's general elections take place next year.